Hello everybody, how you all doing? My name is Raffle and welcome to today's video and today we're going to be doing the weekly legendary mission which if I'm not mistaken, oh it's a daily mission actually, never mind it's a daily mission? I thought it was the weekly mission, no? Projects Yeah, weekly legendary mission Wait, can it be both weekly and daily? I'm confused projects in 16 hours mm. okay so here it says weekly but it also says daily here i'm assuming this is black or whatever it might be both i don't know i, I doubt that it's both but uh yeah uh we're gonna do that live and as always solo because i like doing solo legendaries uh here is the build that we're gonna use as you can see what do we have 32 percent critical hit chance so we need to increase that a bit let's get that all the way up to 50 if that's possible there we go um another six percent critical hit chance will go here so we have 44 uh, Fox Warriors probably. Yeah, that's going to be rerolled, or do we have one? Okay, we have another piece with 6% critical hit sense over here already, so we don't need to reroll the other one. So we're sitting at 50% critical hit sense, 81% critical hit damage. We're going to be using the Seal Splinter simply for the... Because the F2000 right now, as I showcased in my latest video, is the hardest hitting assault rifle. It has the highest TPS. And because it has the best DPS talent in the entire game, the, the named version of the F2000, the Seal Splinterer, has the perfect Optimist, which gives us 4% weapon damage for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. We're going to combine that with the Memento for the 3% armor generation and the one blue core. I might want to get another blue core here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we could get a uh, Picker's Holster instead of the Fox Sprayers. But um, let me see. Let me see. We could reroll that so we can have over 1 million armor. But yeah, let's actually do that. Let's go 5 red cores and 2 blue. I think that would be better. For the survivability, because I don't feel like wiping and then starting all over again. <laughs> uh, where is it? Nipads? No, it's not Nipads. It was the holster, right? Yeah, holster. Armor. There we go. So now, is everything maxed out on this build? I think so. Yeah, everything seems to be maxed out. Okay. Down with target side of cover on my weapon 10% and another 8 from the knee pads that's 18 that's the highest that we can get so let's just go uh, let's change to decoy I've been playing more and more with the decoy lately and probably I'm gonna make this like a weekly thing where I play every weekly legendary mission on solo unless we're talking about you know um the the two that they added later on in the game which was the tidal basin and the the money national zoo which i haven't done those yet all by myself because if we're being honest they're much much more complicated than uh the three first ones okay let's go I don't have my memento stacks already up, which is, uh, I just realized that, but we should be able to make this work anyways. At least I hope so. Throw that over there. The seal spl splinter with a uh, 60 bullet magazine is an absolute beast. Yeah, you're not getting back in time, buddy. The 
question is, are we going to have enough bullets to do this first part? There we go. We're using the gunner specialization for the 10% arm regeneration on kill. I'm gonna keep the decoy for when the rushers come. Oh, my stacks are dropping, which is not ideal, but what can you do? Okay, here we go. So many people over there, didn't kill anybody. Let's get down the drone operators real fast. If we can. Okay, time to pick up some ammo. If there was any. Which seems like there isn't. Oh, hello there. Oh, ammo. Drop that down there. Anyone coming? Get those backups, backup, backpacks first. Oh my god, this thing is nuts! And we have like what five memento stacks. This is just okay. Now we have no bullets. Okay, we got some bullets from the. Gun specialization. That guy's down. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get all our memento trophies. Instruct whatever that is. I have this very bad habit. Uh, which is pretty much deconstructing everything without even looking at what I'm deconstructing, unless I'm looking for a specific item, unless I'm farming for something, which I need to stop doing because I might be losing on some good pieces. <laughs> but it is what it is. I would like to get the medical guys down first, yeah. That's bad. Uh, let's get that guy out of cover. Let's kill that guy. Yeah, no. Damn it. Yeah. Can't revive any more people. That's going to be annoying. Yeah, this part is pretty much suiting them until the, the med box runs out of charges. One more grenade, maybe? Yeah, the med box is done now.
I don't know if I have enough ammo for this, but we're gonna find out soon enough. Okay, I don't want to push it. Okay, buddy, relax. I got him. He survived that. Okay. What is this? Crap. Okay, four armor kits, not bad. This is actually not supposed to be that hard, this part over here, but uh, I find it to be one of the most challenging parts of the entire mission. Not the part that I'm doing right now, but the very next. Similarly because of how many explosive grenades and grenadiers are gonna spawn. And how tiny the position that I can stay is. Is there a wait for my revive hive to get back up? I think I will. <clears throat> but yeah, what's annoying is that you basically stay over there and you have to pick from that corner, but you have a bunch of grenades coming at you and, and explosive uh, drones, which makes it very hard for you to pick because at the same time that you pick, you have to worry about grenades and explosive drones and the enemies shooting at you. So what we're going to do is... Should be going for those grenadiers. Yeah, there we go. See, the party started. Okay, that was a drone operator. More drones coming out. And I'm lucky because they don't seem to rush me this time around. Oh. Having said that. Oh, that like son of a bitch. Okay. Throw that over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have no visual of that guy. Any pick? What if I pretend to look the other way? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, he, he ran into the grenade. Where's the last guy? 
So it's not difficult. We were lucky this time around. A lot of times I'm gonna have like three drone operators trust me, and they're gonna sit where inside that room and just gonna spam drones on me. And it, there's nothing I can do. I cannot even hit them. Oh. Always get these drone operators as fast as you can. Um, where is that guy going? That guy is going to be a problem because, yeah, if we didn't get him, he would keep repairing the, the dogs. There's one more dog, right? No? I guess I remember wrong. I don't like this place. Who put down the medbox? Okay. Immediate medical assistance needed. You're really gonna waste my fucking Armor kit with your shit. And my revive hive, apparently. That was so fucking bad, I should have died there three times. Really? I should have died there. I, I played that so poorly. Oh, I lost all my memento stacks? Great. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy you for the stack. I guess. Yeah, that's that that was terrible. Let's see how many stacks we can get. One, two, three. Six. Did I say four, five, six, seven, six? I don't know. Ah, we're at around twenty stacks. Not terrible, uh, I guess. Okay, the bad thing is that we wasted a bunch of armor kits in, in the previous part, but now we have no armor kits. 
right? Yeah, I have none left here to pick up. Um, one armor kit for the next part is not ideal. It's actually horrible. No, anything else to loot over here that might give me an armor kit? I don't think so. Okay, so I just made this like 10 times more difficult. I could enter this part with like four armor kits on me if I didn't got that cocky in the previous part. Um, but no. But medic, medic has to go down. There we go. Is he getting healed back there? We're gonna play this super slow, just so you know, guys. Oh, they do get healed back there. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, I wouldn't get that close if I were you. So again, what we're doing here is wasting their med kits. Their med boxes or whatever you want to call them. That guy's a red. He's no threat. That guy reviving people though. God damn it. We have to, we're gonna have to play this the super slow way. Because that decoy was a very bad place. Another guy who walks into my grenade? Okay, Memento is doing its job. I'm not doing mine. Missing all my shots. Okay. Sanga boy out. Let's see. Nice. Give me some stacks. Come on. Don't be shy now. Thank you. Did I break that? I think I did. Okay. When we're full on uh, armor kits, apparently. No, we're not. We're on three. We're going to play this super slow as well. Uh, so fun, actually. Oh, no, he didn't pick again. Oh, uh, I don't like my 
position here. This is a terrible position. We need to fix that immediately. There we go. That's the place I like to play from. Get a little bit closer here. Okay, we're good to go. What's this? Another bad roll there. I Maybe mean, it was Douglas and Handling, Handling or whatever it's called. Who cares? Even if the rolls were good, never gonna play with that chest piece in my entire life. So, okay, three armor keys again. Oh, come on now, dude. Nice grenade you threw there. Okay. And I think they're gonna start pushing me now. At least they should. Now here we go. Missed half my mug there. Doesn't matter, however. Could I be in a worse position here? What's the worst place to get cover? Okay, let's go to that one. That's what my brain is thinking. <laughs> Okay, we're going into the first actually difficult part with uh, three armor kits, I think. Yeah, three armor kits. I've done it with less. So we should be good here. Well, yeah. well I want this. I mean, I'm going to say yes and never, and then never use it. So I'm just going to deconstruct it. Oh, we have one extra armor kit. Okay, four armor kits. So, I think we're good. Again, the difficult part in District Union is not the actual enemies. It's the talk points where they get you out with a bunch of uh, explosive drones and uh, grenades. With this part over here, th the grenades are the issue, not the explosive drones. I don't think they have any explosive drones in this part. Uh, but they have a lot of grenades because they have grenadiers. And they have uh, the robot dogs as well to throw the grenades. So if you get stuck in a bad place, which is actually not the only place that you can play it, but where I'm mostly used at playing it. I'm going to show you where in a second here. Throw that down real quick. So, yeah, I'm used to playing it from up here. Right? And if they start throwing grenades up here, you're screwed. Or if that dog doesn't die. There we go. Okay, so you have another gr No, that's not a grenadier. Never mind. Okay, 
Who is this guy? Are they rushing me? Okay, that's new. You have to go down. You have to go down as well. What do we have? Are they coming out yet? No, they're not. Okay, we need to kill a couple more people. I guess. Grenade, there we go. Now they should be coming out, right? Oh shit, that's a grenadier. That guy up there is a fucking grenadier. He needs to go down ASAP. Uh, what are we gonna do about that guy over there? Don't panic, just chill. Just chill. They're gonna jump down. What hits me? Serious trauma detected. Okay. That could have went much, much worse. The Grenadier getting up there really, like, screwed me with my head. And almost fucked me over, but, uh... We, we kept our composure, we remained cool, and, uh... We did it. Uh, hello, I broke your leg. Aren't you supposed to go down or whatever? Oh, you're gonna go down in there. Okay, that makes sense. Dude. Just die, please. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> that obviously wasn't perfect execution, but it did work, so we're good. Maybe there are some armor kits up there that we could pick up. No? No, oh, just bullets and uh, a trophy. Yeah. It's okay. Two, it's not too bad. I think we're going to get another armor kit in the next part. We're definitely not going to use it. I, I mean, I'm going to try to not use an armor kit in the next part. I, I actually prefer to go down and use my revive hive uh, than use an armor kit. Because we're definitely gonna need at least three armor kits for the for the part after this one. I can always wait for the revive hive to come back up, but I, I can't make um, armor kits spawn out of thin air. Okay, so these guys don't really care about my decoy, I guess. No, oh, come back. Yeah, we got one armor kit, so we're good. Oh, we got two armor kits. Let's fucking go. Okay. Wait, what? 
I'm pretty sure we got two armor kits, no? Huh? Oh, whatever, dude. Let's do this with three, I guess. No, oh, wait, I have another box to open so I can deconstruct whatever drops out of it. Mm, that's actually quite good, but it's going to get deconstructed anyways because I don't plan on playing with a military G63 anytime soon. Okay. I'm pretty sure I picked up two armor kits in this part. I'm pretty sure I picked up two. I don't know. I will have to watch the, the replay, the, the recording, to see how many I picked up. But I'm pretty sure it was two. And we only have three for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, which one? Oh, god damn it. Oh, we can get that guy. Get that guy as well, probably. No, we cannot. Okay, we got that guy. Now let's go back to our safety. Okay, so there is a repair guy over there. Drones are coming out. Ah. You gotta love this, mate. You gotta love this. That's not gonna hit me. Um. And these operators go the fuck down, please. <laughs> we got him, boys. Is that a shotgun? Oh yeah, come this way. Thank you. Oh, really? Let's see what we can do. No mats. And it puts them out of their corner. Oh, really? Just die for the love of God. I'm running out of bullets faster than I'm running out of armor kits. Is your med box? There should be another way, right? Yeah, there it is. It just spawned. That grenadier, thank God, he went down fast. Otherwise, he had a great line of sight. To start dropping his annoying grenades on us. Uh, oh, there it is, another one. Oof. Oh, nice! Don't 
Turns out I don't actually need any armor kits for this part. <laughs> where where are the last guys? Is it only this turret? I don't think so, right? Yeah. One guy over there. There are no more, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that was probably the best attempt at this um, part of the mission I've ever done. No armor kits used and none drop actually, which is a great thing that we didn't use any because then we would be going into the next part without any armor kits. We got lucky. Let me drink some water real quick. Are you really going to do that? Where's the other? Sunga? There he is, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And my game now crashes, imagine that. We made it to the last part. I see a grenadier. Which I'm not gonna be able to kill instantly. Apparently. His friends are not happy. Oh, hello there. Who? What? He was up there? These fucking things, man. Oh, 
Oh my god, dude. Yeah, you're gonna throw that grenade, don't worry about it. Oh, what? Oh, damn it, I missed everyone. Putting down the ammo boxes, the, their health boxes, and, and, and their fucking healing drones. Come on, pick. Pick, you cocksucker. Nice accuracy, dude. Oh, hello. Don't you dare fucking do it. Okay, uh, run. Ah, oh, for the love of God, dude. Okay. Let's, uh, reorganize our shit. It's in... Health books over there? Um... Is that still doing work? Yeah, it does. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just hanging around. Where is the fucking health box? Did I fuck up here? Oh, we're good. It's all good. It's all good. It's only him, right? Yep. I think we got everyone else. Uh, welcome to the boring part. We should be good over here. No, no, don't look at me. Look at my decoy, bro. Oh, you're such a bad sport, dude. Do your shit. Hold on, let's go. Decoy my ass. Oh, there we go. Now it's smoking, now it's smoking. Oh, he got the magic bullets now. Run. Dude, you're supposed to do the fucking bleeding thing. The EM peoples, whatever it's called. Why the fuck are you hitting me? What about there? You know, he likes it. Okay, he's mad. Who wouldn't be mad? No, don't go that way. The fuck are you going? Okay, he knows the trick shooting through the th stuff. Okay.
you gonna bait? Is you gonna bite actually? Yeah, you did. Nope. Not biting the bait anymore. Uh, I'm gonna keep the armor kit a little bit longer. Let's then go through here. Dear sir, can you please die? Thank you. He died with my two last bullets. There we go. What a pile of garbage is this? <laughs> Honey butter. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Yeah, we got the exotic cars for the project, the weekly. Nice, dude. So yeah, that wasn't too bad. That went actually kind of smooth, I would say. Yeah, so we got one uh, exotic cast, right? I had four before, so now we should have five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I have five before? Dude, I'm so confused right now. Um, I think we only got one. Right. I don't know at this point, guys. I don't know if it was both a daily and a weekly mission. I don't know what the fuck was that. But uh, yeah, we we completed it. We got some exotic classes. I'm pretty sure I got four before. And I have six. So maybe it was both uh, the weekly and the daily. Maybe. Who knows? Right? So yeah, now we have six exotic castes, which is not that bad. Uh, I'm going to get that number a little bit higher, maybe like 20, <laughs> which is the cap uh, for the castes. And then I'm going to open them all together, see what I'm going to get. But yeah, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Uh, here's the build once again. Um, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, red core attribute, red core attribute, critical hit damage, critical hit chance. Red core attribute, critical hit sans. One blue core attribute on one of the pieces. And then we have critical hit damage. Fox prayers, of course, for the 8% damage target set of cover. Critical hit sans and a red core. And then the memento. Both for the short term buff and the long term buff. And because it gives us like three core attributes. And we also have another 6% critical hit sans gear mode in here. And then the only weapon that I used throughout the entire video, as you saw, was the sealed splinter air. With the farmer, with the excuse me, with the striker, it's an absolute beast. You have 1,035 RPM with a 60 bullets magazine. The accuracy, stability, the optimal range, all because of the weapon handling of the striker gets even better than it normally is because the F2000 and the sealed splinterer are both pretty good handling weapons. They have great accuracy, great stability, great range. Maybe range not that much, but it's decent, right? Um, with the striker, all that gets even better. And then, you know, we have the perfect optimist here. 4% increased weapon damage for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. Damage targets out of cover. Maxed out assault rifle damage and health damage. Imagine if I had that on Expertise 20, how much better it would be. But I'm a noob. Uh, my Expertise level, as you can see here, is just level 13 because I never really bothered increasing it. Uh, I'm just 
once a day, I go into the base of operations, see what I have in my inventory, and donate all the trash, and then I deconstruct the rest. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.